Ho! Oh, thank you, long arm leader. All right, guys, you guys know what time it is. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So how's it going, you sexy bastards? My name is Armando. Welcome back to another Dead Frontier video. So guys, first things first, let me apologize for my hair. I just got out of work. It is 10.32 in the night. And I figure, hey, everybody's been, you know, DMing me or whatever, PMing me on Discord, on my server, and saying, yo, Armando, you have the shotgun, it's amazing, I think it's better than the Wraith Cannon, Armando, you need to get the shotgun, it's so OP, and I'm just like, what's the hype about, yo? So, we're here to find this out today, again, huge shout out to this guy, um, yo, bro, you might want to put on some pants, I'm just saying, bro. But yeah, thanks to him, we've, we're gonna see what's, the, what's all the hype about, again, I don't know, if it's really worth it, it is a double barrel shotgun. There might be some nerf to it. I don't know, but regardless, we all know that Admin, you know, just likes bringing out OP stuff every year. It's it's pretty much a the, pretty much a formula that all we different tiers know. You know, we just pretty much know. Yeah, let me buy that one key. I don't care. And uh, damn, you guys really spiked this up. We're not, we're not gonna use that much swap gauge. All right. But uh, yeah, I mean, upon further. You know, inspection, it does look sexy. I love the, the, the detail on it. It looks old. It looks like it was made from junk. It looks like it was just, you know, like someone took it apart and did something to it. I mean, like I said, it has two round capacity, slow firing speed, but I do love that fast reload speed, okay? Let me tell you something. When you have fast reload speed on the gun, it really makes all the difference in the world. It really does. It does. Zero critical chance, high accuracy, so it has really good accuracy. I mean, for a shotgun, that's not bad. And you need 120 uh, shotgun skill required. So, yeah, again, guys, let me show you my stats before we do this. You guys must know I am on drugs. I wish my account didn't have drugs, but once you get the Ultra Boost, you really can't go back. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, without further ado, guys, let's get right into the show. God damn, 370k just to go to Precent? Pretty cheap. Yo, I'm, yo, this thing is ginormous in the inner city. did a great job detailing how it would look like, you know, in the actual... You know, inner city. I mean, the, it's supposed to be a sort of shotgun. But I love the detail. It looks great. I like it. Look at that. It looks sexy. Again, I'm not trying to fire it off because I really want to test it in the uh, in the wasteland. I think we're almost there. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to compare these two monsters with each other in the wasteland. I mean, hopefully it performs as well as people have been hyping it up about. Because honestly, 1,000 credits is a crap ton of credits. Uh, but I think that's like what 25 million. I think I could afford it, but like I said, I want to see it for myself. I even read a post where it says it's 30 pellets in one shot. So, oh, here we go. Oh, I'm excited. Here we go, guys. All right, so let's see. First, first uh, victim who's gonna be my victim. Oh, 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 whoa, look at that. Yo, oh, crap. Oh, and just remember, guys, oh, yo, oh. Just remember, guys, I have drugs on, so I'm doing 10 damage a pellet, yo. So if you guys don't know, a Wraith Cannon automatically does 3 damage, or 3 hits a pellet, which isn't bad. But, is it one shot? If I can land no pellets, is it one shot? Hold up. I think it is. Holy. Holy crap. I think it's 2 shots for the little, uh, little demons there, the little demon dogs. Yo. Oh god, I don't want to blow that up in one second. But in, in terms of damage, it's great, dude. But just remember, it is still a shotgun. So, it, you know, you got to land everything there. All the pallets are are, are uh, scattered. But if you get right up in their faces, it kills a tendril in one shot. <laughs> Yo! This thing is insane, though. Oh my god. If you know how to move, you know how to zigzag and all that pizzazz. You have no problem using this thing in the inner city or even using it for TS, bro. But yeah, like the Wraith Cannon does 24 damage a hit. This thing does 10.45 damage a hit. And I'm like, I think someone said it. Um, I can, I think it's 30 pellets per shot. Not 30, yeah, 30 pellets in a, in a, in a shell, which is honestly incredible. Look at that, look at that. It blows them away. Holy crap, man. I gotta be careful. This thing does too much. Look, it fills up most of my bottom screen, yo. Hey, man. This thing is proven to be worth 1,000 credits. All right? I mean, but to be honest, I, I kind of saw it coming, man. And I and I cleared out the area already? Bruh. 
I mean, it's tough in the beginning. This is this is what I said. If you know how to move, you know how to, you know, zigzag like a freaking snake or a worm, worm or a worm, you will be a okay. You know, other than that, I have no issues with this weapon. Just learn how to move, learn how to. Oh god, I forgot those things can one shot you. Uh, get a high reload speed and accuracy. Honestly, isn't an issue with this weapon. Again, is it worth one thousand credits? my opinion my humble my most insignificant most minimalist opinion yes it's looking like that right now it really is the thing is though in the wasteland is i'm not getting constant aggro all right that's the thing though in ts you know you want constant aggro and honestly though it's a shotgun i feel like it's not bringing as much attention as i would like it to wow i killed that siren in less than half the shots <laughs> look at that I'm, i almost cleared out the whole oh no i didn't I knew I was gonna do it. Ah, I got I, I got too excited with this. I'm getting a little too trigger happy. But bro, this thing is is, is insane. But anyway, enough of me talking with this thing. Let's use the Wraith Cannon now. So this is the Wraith Cannon. Alright. As you all can tell, it's a lot easier to move around with. And it has knockback, alright? The thing is though, those sure guys actually pose a threat. But I mean, in terms of you know how much damage or how much chaos those these two do bro they're almost similar i'm gonna keep it real with you it's almost similar man just look at this look at that i mean the sort of shotgun or whatever the bucktooth blaster cleared off half the aggro in pretty much no time <laughs> i i mean it, it's again it's insane a thousand credit weapon if you guys want something similar to the wraith cannon i do recommend it all right i do hold on let me use the look at that look at that <laughs> yo the titan already started flinching yo i actually love this thing all right i actually like this thing yo i'm falling in love right now hey yo oh god thank god they don't blow up in one shot <laughs> that would suck all right come on come on i really wish i could have just fought them there you go did i kill the okay there you go all right so let's test it against these guys one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, I mean, I'm not going to count it. I'm not really knowing how many colors it's taking, but I mean, just look at it, bro. If, yo, let me see if I can get one shot in fully. Boom! 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 There you go. Oh, my God. It just feels satisfying seeing all those pellets in one shot. <laughs> but, yo. Yo, if it's really 30 pellets in one shell, that's, that's a lot. Of, that's 300 damage a tick. That's not bad, bro. It's almost basically close to like the X Dusk Enforcer damage if you get every pellet in one enemy. Look at that! Look at that! This thing is a monster, bro. Just look at this. Just my god, bro. My god. Such a beast. Come on. I want to get all my pellets in one in one shot. Come on. There you go. There you go. Uh oh, there you go. Oh, I'm using my energy to up as always. But yeah, again, without a doubt, I know I keep. Re oh my god, dude! I know I keep repeating myself, but this thing is without a doubt a wraith cannon contender, hands down. If you guys want something close to the wraith cannon, there you go. Just, just there you go. This is literally a wraith cannon contender. Just, it's, it's, in, it's such a good weapon. Again, here's the Wraith Cannon. As you can tell, overpowered, yes. OP, unlimited. You know, they can barely get near me. If you know how to move with any weapon, you'll be okay. Oh, crap. Don't be like me who barely grinds. I don't grind for a living, okay? I don't grind for a living, you damn... You, you damn... Uh, you damn top survivor grinder professionals in this game. I, I just play for fun, but... Like I said, look at me. I'm a noob, and I do okay with both these weapons, so... The fact that anybody can use this weapon just with a bit of experience of moving and crap, you know, even though you're not a top survivor professional, m speaks a lot of volume, all right? Like I said, most of these weapons are really great. Uh, and one is a thousand credits compared to one that's worth like 25k, 20k credits. Bruh, what are you waiting for? Just go and get this thing. It's such a beast. I mean, it's, it's, it's great for the money. Honestly, a thousand credits. If I didn't have the Wraith Cannon, I, I honestly would go with this thing. This thing is a complete monster. With the right stats, the right skills to pay the bills, the way you move, the right knowledge of the game, the pattern, learning, everything. 
you literally will be hard. It'll literally be hard to lose in a boss battle. I'm just being shit honest. I mean, then again, a devil hound is a bit. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I honestly rate this weapon overall a 9.5 out of 10. It is a beautiful weapon beautiful 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 weapon and i can't wait to test it out with other bosses once the event is over but for now guys oh man what a piece of a weapon but yeah guys hermano signing out and i'll see you on the next one take it easy bye ah!